This is a longitudinal section of the uterus of the patient measuring Okay, now the uterus is measuring 15.9 or 16 uh, centimeters in length. It's measuring 5.86 centimeter in anterior posterior diameter. This is an eye diameter. Both are an eye. Up to <coughs> 11 is considered to be normal or 12 maximum. And more uh, up to 5 in anterior posterior diameter is considered to be normal. This is 5.6. And there is a cystic area seen in the lower segment, this one. This is the uh, anterior segment uh, of the endometrial canal. This is endometrial canal. This is the fundal region. This is the posterior myometrium, the anterior myometrium, and we see an approximately measuring uh, I have done this before, so I can tell you it's made about 100. Uh, ml or 10 cm into 3.5 cm, a fluid field area is seen with equals within it and uh, it, it aligning with the vagina, this is the vagina and this, it, it ends up, you know, it's blind ending and uh, tubular structure cystic, it contains antenna echoes. see in, in this mode, uh, magnified view, and this is uh, consistent with a hematometra. Patient is, uh, is, is, is the patient is of that of uh, primary infertility. I do not have a proper history or a I can't be sure, I'm not sure, I have no history, no clinical notes, nothing. Uh, so, she is married, no kids so far, nine years married. And dilation of the endometrial canal with fluid, because of fluid, my approximately 70 ml with the equals hematometra. This is hematometra, in fact, and uh, this is the lower portion, cervix and the vagina. It does not extend from there. So this is, in fact, this is transfer section of the same, and this is hematometra. Now this is the first finding in this patient. You see, now I'm going towards the liver. Liver is normal inconsistent. No, normal. Smooth outer surface, smooth parenchymal echogenicity. And here if you see, this is the portal vein. Now, <coughs> sorry, the pathology now I'm going to show you it has to do nothing with the pelvic pathology, that of hematomatra in this patient, which is an isolated other pathology. Now, this is another pathology, this is the portal vein, and anterior to it with ecogenic borders is the common bile duct. It is full of sludge or different strength echoes. These, this, is, this tubular structure running anterior to the portal vein is the common bile duct and it is dilated, full of sludge, measures approximately 16.7 millimeter and we know that up to 7 uh, mm is Long. So this is the portal vein. This one. 
this is the common bile duct and here you see the translation the gallbladder gallbladder is normal this is IVC this is liver so here we see a dilated CBD in this view and uh, yeah here at the distal end of the CBD where it courses, now I'm going to show you the gallbladder first, it's normal, no pathology is seen relating to the gallbladder. And with this, this, this dilated uh, CBD, when I move towards the region of the porta hepatis, you see a globular area, cystic, this one, and this relates to the distal end of the, uh, of the common bile duct. This is the portal vein, which I will show you in a second with the blood studies. There is mild intrahepatic bile duct bacteria. Uh, you see, transfer. Rocco. Yeah, you see the tubular structures within the liver. Now this is the this, this these are the dilated intrahepatic bile ducts. This is a mass, and this mass relates to the common bile duct. Just a common bile duct. Let me align it with this CBD and you will be more clear for you. This is the common bile duct and this is the solid mass. Cystic, almost cystic within and has internal ecogenic area septals and no posterior wall enhancement at all so it is in favor of well demarcated you see the wall it's well demarcated this is the gallbladder the liver so this pathology is relating to the common bile duct and is the cause of uh, dilated CBD and we see does not take blood there is not, no blood flow seen within it Here you can see the dilation of the hepatic, intrahepatic bile ducts emanating from this mass relating to the common bile duct, distal common bile duct. Here you can see the portal vein posterior to the common bile duct and the hepatic artery as well. It does not take blood. However, the pancreas is normal, but like lumbar sounds. No. If you see, this is this band is the uh, pancreas in transfer section. This is the portal vein. Just a minute. Let me have it again. Lumbar sans. Air is obstructing, just wait. Yeah, air. Now, this is the head of the pancreas, the longitudinal section. This is the uh, pancreatic duct, and this is the portal vein. Again, in transfer section, sans necro. Now you see the head is clear of any focaline. 
this is the pancreas pancreatic body this one this is the superior mesenteric vein so this patient has two pathologies she is young this is the pathology number 1 a mass complex cystic with internal solid areas well demarcated a vascular relating to the dilated cbd here with the intrahepatic by the dilation <coughs> obstructive jaundice of aggressive cause you can again see the common bioduct will not take blood the tubular structure anterior to it and the other pathology is hematometra here it is once again this is our case of the day thank you very much